velodromes, our cathedrals of speed. No start, no end. This is where all the pain happens. It's amazing to see how far velodromes have come, from their humble beginnings to this. When you see those boards, do you just remember the pain of training or do you remember the glory of winning? The bit for me that really brings it back is when you hear the beeps. Without this velodrome being built in 1994, we would have no Olympic program. Since then, GB athletes have won more than 25 gold medals at Olympic Games, giving this building the nickname, the Medal Factory. Over the last 10 years, it's just gone. We retired and then it got really it good. It got really good then, didn't it? You know, there were consistently gold medalists. That's the pressure now is to continue that. It's a safe environment to start cycling in. Obviously, you are riding it for 45 degree banking, but there's no cars in here. There's also something in being comfortable going at 60k an hour without brakes. We have a thing called a perpendicular speed. If you don't go fast enough and you, you fall off, down. you haven't reached the perpendicular you haven't speed. Reached it. <laughs> I'm Rob Hales. And quite a while ago, I won one or two medals on velodromes around the world. There you let go. Me, I'll, let, you. I'll let you have that thank one you. on the photo. <laughs> so why don't you come on a little journey with me to find out why I think they're so important. Velodromes themselves and the buildings that house them.